U.S. President Joe Biden has said that he is not confident that the upcoming presidential election in November will be peaceful. Biden has cited incendiary comments by Republican contender Donald Trump, who he says continues to reject his 2020 defeat. Biden said he is confident that the polls will be fair, but warned that Trump and his running mate could refuse to accept the outcome. I'm confident it'll be free and fair. I don't know whether it'll be peaceful. The things that Trump has said and the things that he said last time out when he didn't like the outcome of the election were very dangerous. Uh, if you notice, uh, I, I noticed that the vice presidential Republican candidate did not say he'd accept the outcome of the election. They haven't even accepted the outcome of the last election. So uh, I'm, I, I, I'm concerned about what, the, what they're going to do. Meanwhile, at a rally in North Carolina, Trump spoke to a military-heavy audience on issues ranging from immigration and hurricane relief to veteran affairs and international relations. Trump declared that if elected, he would seek to change the name of the state's sprawling military base, Fort Liberty, back to Fort Bragg. Now, according to polls, Trump leads Harris by 0.5 percentage points in the North Carolina. The former president leads Harris by 1.1 points in Georgia and 1.2 points in Arizona. All of those figures are within the margin of error for major polls, meaning either candidate could walk away with a victory. As the former president campaigned in North Carolina, Vice President Kamala Harris focused on Michigan, where she said, that manufacturing jobs in the state were lost during the Trump administration. Touting her middle-class roots, Harris vowed to create more manufacturing jobs in the United States. I will always put the middle class and working families first. I come from the middle class and I will never forget where I come from. I will never forget where I come from. And we know we cannot have a strong middle class without American manufacturing. Over the last three and a half years, we brought manufacturing back to America. We created 730,000 manufacturing jobs and announced the opening of more than 20 new auto plants in the United States. Earlier, Harris met with Arab American and Muslim leaders in Michigan as a presidential campaign seeks to win back voters who stand against United States' support for Israel's war in Gaza and Lebanon. The meeting is one of several attempts in recent days to mend fences with Muslim and Arab voters. The key segment resoundingly backed Biden in 2020, but could withhold votes from Harris in numbers that would cost her the key state of Michigan. Ask these community leaders, these advocates, these. Uh, For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.